Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic and wonderful and I hope everything is just beautiful. It's pretty good here. But I, I, I've been thinking back to Thursday. I've been thinking back to uh, my dog, you know, bleeding and looking at me to fix his world and I couldn't. And it it bothered me a lot that night. It bothered me a lot the next day, and it bothers me still. And, and I'll tell you why. I am 42 years old. I have two children. One is 16 and one is 12. I was married for 16 years. Is that right? I think so. I have a house, but not much else. And I've been working since I was a teenager. Before I left high school, I had a job at Burger King. I had a job as a newspaper boy. I was in the Marine Corps. I've worked in automotive industry. I've been a mechanic and a salesman and a service advisor. I've worked in um, IT. Uh, I worked in um, sign making. I've worked in programming. I've had I've had jobs, and I've had a lot of good jobs. I've had jobs that I've kept for years and years and years. I worked for the board of education for eight years. I was a mechanic for four years. I, you know, I like I don't. I'm not. I'm not the kind of person that bounces around aimlessly but as my dog sat there bleeding and looking at me I had to come to the stark realization that I couldn't take care of him I called the emergency vet they told me how much it was going to cost to just have him looked at and I couldn't even afford that I couldn't afford anything And it sucks. It sucks as a as a person this this old to have nothing, to have no safety net at all. I mean, that's not true. I have a couple hundred dollars, and that's it. Like I have nothing. Um, I have a savings account for Christmas so that I can actually manage to give my children presents. I currently have a little bit squirreled away so that I can take them on vacation next month. And that's it. Uh, beyond that, I have maybe a few hundred dollars in my bank. And sadly, it's one of those things that I don't think about until there's a need, right? I've never, I've never in all my years uh, with the children in the house and all that stuff, we never had money to put aside. There's never been a money in my adult life that's left over. And it's not because I live extravagantly. I don't live extravagantly. I don't have um, most of the amenities that you have. I have none of the streaming services. I don't have cable. I don't drink you know, expensive coffee every day or smoke. I don't drink alcohol. I have no real luxury bills uh, I have a cell phone bill would be the one thing I could cut out but I've had that cell phone for that same number for 15 years and, and that's the only way people know how to get a hold of me because I don't have a home phone so I have no there, there's no there's no there's no slack I mean sure I could not buy soda to keep in the fridge for the kids but that's what they like and, and so I buy it and I'm sure that there are ways that I could cut back and save 40 or $50 a month on groceries uh, if I really wanted to. Uh, but I've never had the ability to just put money aside. And I still don't. <laughs> M does. M has the ability to put most of her money aside. And so, you know, when it came to the dog, it was taken care of. It wasn't a big deal. Um, when it came to going on vacation, it was taken care of. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, 
but for me, it is a big deal, right? For me, knowing that I've got no ability to protect myself against financial ruin. Like there, there's, you know, I'm one small step away from not being able to afford anything. I'm one, you know, lawsuit or, um, I'm just a few hundred dollars short of being short for the month for bills and rent and not rent. I own a mortgage and, and groceries and man, it sucks. It sucks bad. I have friends in my position, my, my work position that have, you know, tens of thousands of dollars sitting in a bank account or invested that they could easily liquidate. I have none of that. I have, sure, I have a retirement account that probably has less than $100,000 in it. Definitely not enough to ever amount to much if I were to retire. But I don't have the ability to take care of my sick dog. I have to rely on him for that. And of course, you know, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. You know, in, in M's mind and in my mind, um, we share those sorts of things. I pay all of the bills and, and she takes care of the stuff that needs taken care of. And so it's not a big issue uh, to us as a team. It's just an issue to me as a person, me as an individual, to know that I've come this far in life and I still have no ability to protect myself financially and it and it sucks uh, but it just makes me appreciate her even that much more you know it makes me appreciate everything that she has done for me uh, that much more and um, there's a lot to be said for having a partner that is totally supportive and I don't know that I could ever truly explain that to her or truly show my appreciation. But it means the world to me. Sorry that got dark today. I'm not, I'm just, I've had it, I, it's weighed on my brain for the last few days. So I wanted to dump it and let you all have that information. Um, it's, it's a tough position to be in, but the good news is Debt is behind me. I'm, I'm in a position now where I can put a couple hundred dollars aside every now and then. And I can take my kids on trips. I can purchase, you know, a, a decent uh, set of presents for birthdays and Christmas. And I can do a little bit extra. Uh, it would just be nice to be able to squirrel away a whole bunch uh, for moments when something goes wrong. i got to figure that part out still. But I'll get there. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is felicitous. It's an adjective meaning appropriate and well-suited for a particular occasion. Oh, to be a dragon, a symbol of the power of heaven, of silkworm, size or immense, at times invisible, felicitous phenomenon. Marianne Moore, modernist American poet and writer. Felicitous. F-E-L-I-C-I-T-O-U-S. That word was not felicitous to today's topic. 